my youtube channel i'm so excited i'm at my friend's place hi everyone yes what is your name my name is nancy uh-huh tracy here is my best friend yes now today nancy wants to prepare something that she's very good in as i told you they are the best in cooking it so nancy straight to the ingredients karibuni sana you are gonna enjoy this Mm -hmm. Finger licking pork chops, mm -hmm. and we have here pork chops. Then and then we are doing uh, broccoli mm -hmm. as the vegetable, and then there is mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. And then now the ingredients here are the garlic. Mm -hmm. Then we have cayenne. Mm -hmm. We have chilies, mm -hmm. black pepper, mm -hmm. mixed spice. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon. Uh -huh. Last one we have dark soy sauce. Aha! Uh -huh. Why are you using dark instead of the light soy sauce? Oh, apparently I like the this dark soy sauce because it brings out the brownish of this pork very nicely. Okay. Yes. Hi. Uh, now straight to. Are you going to mix the ingredient first? Yes, I'm going to do that. But before that, let me put this to boil. Uh -huh. As we are doing. As we are waiting for this to boil, we do the marinating. The marinating. Hi, now here the potatoes are boiling. These are going for mashed potatoes. I've just added salt for seasoning. That's all. So here we come. Now we are doing mixing the ingredients for put our salt for seasoning. Mm -hmm. That's all. So here now we want to do the ingredients for. To marinate the pork so there's garlic so we add a little a little of garlic mm -hmm. then we do the mixed spice basically everything is like half a teaspoon mm -hmm. not a lot because mm -hmm. sometimes it, 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 it can be very overpowering okay so you have to put half a teaspoon mm -hmm. And actually pork you can do it like when you're running late mm -hmm. dinner it cooks very fast okay. yeah it cooks very fast and what i've learned is like you have really put a, a, a little amount of cayenne yeah because that is that chili okay and also you have black pepper okay and the chili is here so that it doesn't come too hot yes uh -huh. and then our dark have you added sauce cinnamon? yes okay And not a lot okay sometimes when you put a lot it can be too dark okay and then here is the vegetable oil a good amount of it okay so you be generous with oil oh yeah be generous with oil And most definitely, mm -hmm. don't forget the salt. Okay. And I've noticed it's like I've never seen someone using cinnamon. Is it this? Is this the secret to your? Oh yes! Oh tasty? yes! In oh, a part here, another different taste okay. that just keeps you going back to bite it. Okay. Yes. That's it. Mm -hmm. Then we are gonna apply it on our. Can you do? Can you do the marinating overnight? Yes, you can. Actually, okay. that's the best. Uh -huh. You let it put in the fridge uh -huh. overnight. Uh -huh. Fantastic. Okay. I'm gonna wash my hands. Uh -huh. So guys, you have to clean your hands when you are doing marinating of your meat. <clears throat> I like working with my hands. With my hands. Okay. Yes. 
gives it a personal a personal touch. Okay. Generous. This one will make your taste buds okay. scream for every bite. Mm -hmm. Now guys, as I told you, in my channel is all about simple, tasty recipes. Recipes, yes. yes. You don't have to kill your back yes. to get them. And very affordable. Uh -huh. So we're just going to set this. Uh -huh. Yes. Now, as you are letting this set, mm -hmm. I want to put on the oven. The oven. Okay. Can someone use a jiku still to roast the meat, right? Oh yes, you can. Yes. When Why if not? You don't have an oven. If you don't have an oven, you just put it straight to the jiku. And it will come out. Okay. Just today that you decided to do oven. Okay. Yeah. But that's another very good option. Okay. okay. Putting it at 100 mm -hmm. for like 15 minutes for it to warm okay. nicely. Okay. So now, as this one is marinating, we're gonna do the broccoli. Mm -hmm. And actually, broccoli does not have a lot to do. Mm -hmm. We are just going to, it's the garlic, mm -hmm. and uh, what I normally use is, uh, pass me the ghee in the fridge. Oh. I normally use the ghee, it gives it a taste, it gives it a wonderful taste. Mm -hmm. Here is the ghee. So you can use ghee? Yeah, ghee. So you use the ghee when boiling? No, 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 we don't boil. Uh -huh. Like now we put uh, garlic and ghee. Okay, straight. And, and, yeah, then, straight, we and then now we put uh, our broccoli. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. So we are good. Yes, we are good. I think women were blessed in that area. Kabisa. We can multitask each and everything. Put from the oil. Mm -hmm. Just a little or a bit, a bit too generous with my oil? Just a bit. Okay. A bit because we are putting ghee. Okay. I just, want, just a little. I just I know little. that's enough. Okay. Now, now when like, maybe we don't have maybe ghee, can you just use garlic and yeah, you're good to go? No, you can use oil, vegetable oil. Okay. No, there is no problem. Okay. No problem at all. But ghee gives it a very nice yes, taste. Yes, I like it. It gives it a very... It has an oomph in it. Okay. So we just let the garlic cook. Okay, now you see our garlic is ready. We don't want it to be brown because mm -hmm. it might end up burning when the broccoli is cooking. Okay, and so even I love the smell. Yeah, it's... the smell is fantastic. Yes. Then we just drop them. Guys, I'm telling you, the smell is killing me softly. Mm? The smell is fantastic. And it is fantastic. I love the aroma. Very nice. Add a pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. And then after that, that is when I, I cook. 
So as I told you, you can just try simple recipes. And I told you, it is good to visit people so that you can know how they cook their food differently. As you can see, Nancy cooks different from the way I cook. So I've learned something from her. Even me, I've learned that I can boil. I've never tried. Mm -hmm. So my next broccoli, you're going to but, boil. So I'm going to close it, mm -hmm. but just for like two minutes. Okay. For the moist to soften the, the broccoli. Okay. It, but for a long time, it will, it will change the color. Okay. So, so you're not supposed to cover it for a very yeah, long time? For a very long time, because uh, of the moisture. Okay. Yes. You can see our meat is still marinating. marinating. There's an option also, you can put in the fridge. Mm -hmm. If you have time, you okay. can put in the fridge late overnight, mm -hmm. or one to two hours. Mm -hmm. Or you can just apply and let it rest mm -hmm. for like 10 minutes. And you're good. And there you go. Okay. Yes. I'll just let it simmer. Mm -hmm. It will be ready because mm -hmm. it needs to be crunchy. Okay, it should not be soft. Just like that, the bottom part turn brown. Okay, so I have to keep. And what I've noticed, you have not added any water, but it's like the water was coming from the from the broccoli part. Okay. So what one is putting water, but you need the aqua pan. If you want to boil, just boil a little bit and then you try. Yeah, that's it. Yes. So normally I put my vegetable oil. It's on oil? Yes. Okay. So now just put our meat here. How many, how many minutes are we going to give it? Uh, first, we're going to give it like 10. Mm -hmm. Then we flip. Mm -hmm. Then give it another 10. And that's it. Ah, so really? Give or take so 20 it's so minutes. Easy. Give or take 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Add until 2.50 okay. for 10 minutes. Because sometimes if you do like 250 for more than 10 minutes, mm -hmm. it will become dry. Okay. So, t t uh, 250? 250 for 10 minutes. Oh, for 10 minutes. Yeah, for 10 minutes. Okay. Yes. Ah, we are good to go. Good to go. Our potatoes ready? Yeah, our potatoes. Actually, our potatoes is ready. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to strain them. And I don't, I don't fry the potatoes. Mm -hmm. I just mashed it, mm -hmm. like just like that. No spices, nothing. nothing. Natural way. Natural way. Okay. Yes, because now this is this one has oil and the garlic and the garlic plus the pork. So I prefer this one being natural like that. Okay. Yes. Chips. I don't know what you guys used to mash. Mm -hmm. I like this. And it's really mashing it well. I like it very much. Mm. You learn this recipe. The way you are always your pork ribs are always tasty. Where did you learn the recipe? I learned this recipe from YouTube. Mm -hmm. I really want pork, uh, pork uh, ribs. You know, you yes. go to hotels and you're eating and you're like, wow, mm -hmm. this thing is very tasty. So what I did is I went to YouTube mm -hmm. and I kept trying and trying and trying. And now you are very yeah. perfect. So guys, practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect yeah. and you can see people are really learning from YouTube. So it is good. Don't ever say I don't know. Yes. Just give it a try and you'll be so shocked. Okay. How much is here? Yes. Ready. Okay, now our 10 minutes is done mm -hmm. at 250. Now we need to check it. So that it doesn't burn. Okay. Ah. Are you seeing? It's already looking yummy. Are you seeing? So what we need to do is just to, mm -hmm. to flip. Ah. 
and then we return it. So we give it another more 10 minutes. Yeah, so at that 250, mm -hmm. another 10 minutes. Okay. Then after that, we now reduce the temperature. Okay. So then it cooks slowly. Okay. And then dry up. Okay, now we are going to check uh -huh. and see where it is to avoid it to not get burnt. Uh -huh. Yeah, now here we have to reduce the, the temperature. Uh -huh. Here it is. You can see, Ooh, it's looking yummy. Mm -hmm. So now what happens from here? We're gonna reduce the temperature. Mm -hmm. Put it now to cook slowly. Okay. For another 10 minutes and we are done and we are ready. So it's like you just cook this thing for like 30 minutes. Yeah, and we are done. At most, yes. yes. So now we are gonna Put it at 100, use another 10, and you're good to go. Okay, now it's ready. Mm -hmm. Putting off our temperature. Mm -hmm. Let's see. The moment of two is here. Yes. Hey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really yes. looking yummy. So, what I'm going to do right now is just put it here to set. Mm -hmm. For like two to rest for like two minutes. Mm -hmm. Two minutes, a minute or so. And then now we can cut and plate. Fantastic. Mm. And the smell is nice too. Mm, the smell is fantastic. So we just let it rest. Mm -hmm. You see? Yes. Still still juicy. Uh -huh. It's not dry. Okay. Yes. And that is the sweetness of yeah, meat. Yeah, that's what we want it to be. You see, they still do. So we don't want dry meat, okay. dry pork ribs. Uh -huh. So we leave it there for like a minute or so. And then we plate. Okay. Yes. Wow. Now it's ready. Uh -huh. Are you looking how it looks? Fantastic. Mm. Guys, now look, still, look at the setup. Still very moist. Extremely moist. Now I'm gonna test it. Uh -huh. Now, guys, I'm the one who will test for you and tell you. Kama ame pizza mtiani. Ame anguka. Kama ame anguka. What do you think? Guys, I'm telling you, the meat is soft, sweet. I love the cinnamon taste. Yes, give it a punch. It is just finger licking. Mm. Very nice. Very nice. Wow. Nancy has just done a perfect work. Wow, now you see it's not dry. Mm -hmm. It's still moist inside. Inside is moist while outside is crunchy. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine. Mm -hmm. The combination makes it perfect. Guys, it's so tasty. And you can see now the combination we are going to eat with mashed potatoes. And the broccoli is well. Let me even taste the broccoli. Yeah, please do. You let us mm. know. Guys, I'm telling you. Hmm? No meal is to come and talk about you. The caribou sana? The meal is perfect. So, we want to set it up. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put it in that plate. the broccoli is very nice and i've loved the ghee taste i've been eating broccoli but the ghee has made a very big difference 
Yeah, it gives a different taste. Mm, very nice. Very, 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 very nice. Now this one, I'll have to try it out. I'll have to try the recipe out. You will like it. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. Now taste for us the whole meal. Hmm. Hey guys, now I'm the one doing the testing here. And I've already tasted the meat. So I'm going to taste the mashed potatoes. I just love, I've loved, I've loved this meal. I'm going to try it even today at my home. This is our dinner for today. Nice, nice, nice. Wow, now that looks nice. Let me taste the, the broccoli. It looks yummy. Yeah. Oh, lovely. With the ghee, very crunchy. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Well done, guys. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Guys, Nancy has done a very nice job. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Guys, <clears throat> I'm so excited. Nancy, thank you very much for your time and wel wel welcoming us in your kitchen. We don't take it for granted. May you be blessed with your family. Guys, remember to subscribe, like, and share my YouTube channel. Bye.